What's going on? Move the mouse here back in City Skylines with the town of Wood Garden. Let's play Season 6, Episode Number 6. And our farm is at level 5. Our forestry is at level 2. Let's start the episode off by taking a look at that. And then I just want to double check what we unlocked. It wasn't too many uh, milestones in the last one. So. Uh, so, unit production, we're doing good. We need more workers. So, let's do that. Well, this looks like this is, yeah, that's a polluting building. So, what do we do here? Let's drop it in one more barracks. Actually, let's see. What's the most efficient? So, 35 workplaces, 20, 25. 46 for the sawmill and that processes raw forest products to produce timber let's see where we're at i feel like that's going to be more useful so in the production so yeah it looks like we've got a lot of raw forest products we need more timber and paper so let's do a second sawmill it does employ quite a few people. Do it right next to the other one? Sure. Sawmill next to a sawmill. And let's see what that did for our area. I already forgot the count, so... 412 possible workers. Oh, we just leveled up right there, so that was perfect. Printing press, medium tree plantation, large log yard. So let's take a look at those things. And we've got some room to drop those in. So we'll go all the way over here. Let's do a medium tree plantation just because. Let's see how much larger that is. That's pretty big. Pretty heavy duty. Sawmill. Pellet plant. Small log yard. Sawdust storage. Large log yard. A little bit of noise pollution. Storage yard for storing raw products. Storage buildings can be placed outside of the facility. So we could come over here and increase. How big is it? Oh my god, it's huge. We could fit it in here next to the highway if we moved our power plants out. It's crazy. Um, let's stay with that for now. Let's Let's see if that gets us where we need to get to uh, info wise so for the next level now that we're at level three we're actually pretty close to the next level 416 out of 550 workers we only have space for 497 so we got to add a little bit more in here should we that's all this stuff forestry fence so let's do one more large tree plantation. How many workers does that get us? 40 workplaces. Again, I lost track, so I'm going to come back over here and see where that puts us. Total of 537 possible workers. So we need a little more. Let's carry this road on over. Like so. Perfect. Let's do another barracks right next to the other barracks. Um, I think that'll work. Must be placed by roadside, so apparently... We need to continue this road out a wee bit. Let's do that. And let's see if it'll let us put it there. It will. Good, good. So we'll do something like that, and that should get us where we need to be, right? 572 possible workers. We need 550 for the next level, and we just need to keep cranking out goods, which will happen on its own. Total profit, 544. Not that great. If we go over here and look at... 
going to look at the crime rate in a minute. Two thousand eight hundred and seven dollars profit. So hopefully this will get there. We need to balance this out with the right means of production. Um, let's let's see what's up with this crime problem over here because we've got a police station right here. Does it not cover over there? I don't get it. Um, fire safety crime. Yeah, what is up with that? Fire safety is good and in the green. Crime coverage, it like doesn't even recognize that that's a police station. Let's try and move this thing. They just... Seriously? I just had to threaten to move you and then you send out 10 police cars? And that... What? Alright, figure that one out and let me know in the comments down below what just happened there. Anybody seen that before? That seems like a, a new bug or glitch or something. Just threaten to move them and they get right back to work. Um, let's take a look over here. Because we're getting... We're so close over here. So, let's look at our areas. I definitely want to buy the tile above this one and to the left of this one. I think... It's tough to say. We could go down from here. The reason it's tempting to go down, I'll show you, is if we bring up our info views and... Not pollution. Uh, resources. We've got ore and oil right over here. Quite a bit of it. So we could do some. Ore industry. And oil industry. And this will actually let us build... Is this it? There's offshore oil. Uh, yeah, that was it. Offshore oil drilling platforms. You can actually drill up the, the oil from the bottom of the water there. So that would be kind of nice. So I'm, I'm thinking we should buy these tiles and get those islands. And we could even fill this in with trees over here, right? We've got pretty good tree coverage off the map. So if we did something that, that kind of made this feather off... And we could really focus our town south of the highway. I think that that would make a lot of sense, right? It's it's totally understandable that you may not be built up or developed over there where it is kind of mountainous and forest. This is flatter and easier to work with. We could stop kind of in this, this basin. So I would like to buy this tile just to have access to the highway. We're not going to use half of it, unfortunately. But... So that'll be what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, something like that? I don't know. I think it's uh, is a decoy or kung fu. One of them will open it up in creative first. Unlock all. It's probably a good idea that I should start doing. Um, so I don't run into these decision trees that I go down the wrong one. But that's okay. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um... Little project for today. Let's take a look at our zoning over here. Look at all that. We've got a ton of low density res to fill in up there. So basically, as soon as residential is met, it's somebody's moving in, whether it's the apartment buildings down there or over here. So we've got plenty of space to move people in. Let's try and give them a little bit of incentive and beautify up the area a bit. So let's drop in some basketball and tennis courts in this area because you can see we are very light on leisure in this area so let's do that and that I'm gonna pause it real quick and I'm gonna go to footpaths like so and then let's Alexa, stop. We'll move those in together, and then let's dezone immediately around the park. Like, I don't want a tiny little house there. We don't need that. We don't need that. Or that. So that will raise up the land value around here just a little bit, make it a little bit more appealing. Let's throw in... Where is Paradox? Let's throw in a Paradox Plaza somewhere. Actually, I would love to do that 
right here. So let's move the fire station. We'll move it right there for now. Come back into our parks and drop in Paradox right there at this kind of corner. This little triangle. It's kind of a central meetup spot for the city where these roads come together, where the four lane meets up. Got a lot of people. I say a lot. I mean, we got a fair number of people using the uh, the metro. Let's see how many. Probably not enough to justify all the noise just yet. 186 passengers. I mean, that's not terrible for just two stops, moving people up and down. It's pretty good. And then what we'll do is we'll do bus routes north to south. Uh, maybe not on that metro station, but north to south on the metro stations as those occur coming east to west on Main Street. Or technically Mason Street. Since it was Mason Street. Did that not? Oh, it didn't carry the name over anywhere beyond that segment. That's kind of weird. And it halfway... Where Nason Street becomes Olivia Street? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, there is an achievement for naming 100 streets. So maybe I'll just go through the, the Discord one day and name uh, a street after everybody in there. That should be more than enough to get that achievement. Uh, you know what we could do? There is also an achievement, and I every time I see it, I'm like, why haven't I done this yet? Let's find... Uh, let me see. What was like one of, this is like our first street over here, first street we built. So let's rename this street. Uh, and we rename it Steve. There we go. It's called Steve. So there's an achievement for that. We'll name it Steve Street. But that was like the first kind of road we built. We came off the highway, built our main street, and the first street we built off of that is Steve Street. So we will, uh, yeah, I'll have to go on a rename spree at some point. It's going to be a lot of typing, but we will do that. Uh, a lot of industrial, a lot of commercial demand. Maybe we find a little pocket for that up here somewhere. Oh, I dezoned all this. I didn't even realize that I dezoned all of this commercial when I rebuilt the roads. Because I destroyed them, I didn't upgrade them. So let's do this. We'll get rid of the low density here. And make that all high density. Uh, not on this half, though. Again, we're going to provide some buffer for a little bit of space between our low density and high density. Let's do this one. Whoops, I didn't mean to didn't mean to do that. Spamming trees everywhere. But this will provide a little bit of a noise barrier. Maybe we'll go down to the smaller size and just really spam them in here. To suck up some of that noise from the the monorail system. This will definitely burst in a fire, so. Should make at least a few of you in the Discord happy. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I mean that, and it gives it kind of that separation, right? You're coming through here. And yeah, there's there's big buildings in the distance, but it's not just a switch that goes off. So there's a little bit more gradual look to it, just because of that little barrier that we put in that natural barrier of the trees there, which I think is a nice touch. Kind of do the same thing over here, though we might get more methodical about their placement. If you move at a nice even speed, it's kind of like using the prop line tool on PC, but but not quite. And we can do some footpaths and some park benches and stuff. Maybe we'll just end up filling that in 
it's a temporary measure for right now just to kind of help beautify the city a little bit. What is this one power line we've got here? Is this useful to anybody? I don't think so. Reduced cancer risk. You are welcome. Money-wise, 1.3 million in the bank. You know what I think it's time for? A couple uniques. So let's figure that out. Uh, first one is the Statue of Industry. And no better place to put that than in our industry. That cream in there, what's blocking me? That road? Be awesome if we put it right there. Let's see, let's see. Um, yeah, where can we move this stuff out to? Let's put it here for now. Just to get it in the map. Make people a little bit happier. Those two people are happier now. This one is the Statue of Wealth. I think this would go nice somewhere in our downtown area. Maybe in that block that we didn't... Um, Fully zone out. Put it right here on the corner. That's all right. That looks okay. I like it. I like it. Leveling up some buildings. Lazaret Plaza. This would be good. Right next to our hospital. Is that too close to the other plaza? I, it's okay, I guess. Let's do that. That looks like that belongs right there. Uh, Plaza of the Dead. Statue of Shopping. So we'll keep spreading these things out. That'll be right on that corner of the road that comes in from the highway. We'll do something up here on this side of the map. We've got a nice little slot right there. We could throw it in there. Um, I need to look at traffic. See how traffic is doing. The disaster memorial. You know what? Let's put the disaster memorial in the park. I think that could go right there. That kind of looks nice, right? We don't have power, so we'll have to spread some park buildings to that. Let's um, let's do that real quick. So park area wise, everything's good there. This is going to be a city park. So we will do a small main gate just to define the area. We don't actually have to use it. I'm not worried about making money from this park. Um, let's pop this somewhere around the middle. And then let's do a path back here somewhere. Okay, that connected. That's good. Good enough. And we'll connect one through there. And maybe even do something like this. Now, in an effort to spread power, we'll do something like a cafe, restrooms, info booth. So where do we put the cafe? We'll put the cafe right over here. Kind of right as you're walking by the park on the street, you can stop there. Let's put some more footpaths through here. It's going to make it a little easier to uh, build stuff off of. So we'll do the tree paths. We'll come right over here. We'll connect that through the park to the other side. Now, if we wanted to, if we wanted to make some money off of this, we could pop in gates at every one of these. And it's probably a good idea. Now that I think about it, because I'm just wasting money. Um, upkeeping these things that isn't going to be generating cash for the city. 
So let's actually do that. Things would have been cheaper if I did it in the right order. But I was already regretting my decision not to milk money out of my citizens. So before I regret it, uh, let's do this. We'll connect from here to there. And we'll see where that middle point is. Let's see. Right about, right about there. Good enough. We'll do another little plaza fountain type of thing over here. Ugh, I don't like that. I do not like that. Let's move these around. They look bad with that sharp angle. So let's... We got enough money in the bank. Let's do this right. So if we connect from here, let's go freeform. About the halfway point before we hook it back down to over here. The dog is super upset that the baby is playing upstairs and she's stuck down in the basement with me. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm pretty sure that that will come through on the microphone, but in case you're wondering what that is, that's a sad dog. Um... Okay, so we've got we've got some paths and stuff now. Uh, let's see. We did a cafe. Let's do an info booth kind of up here in the center somewhere. And there should be... Or is that the restrooms? That was the restrooms. Industry area level up. So we'll have to go look at that right after this. So it looks like power is kind of spreading there. We can come back and do the gates over here. And then maybe even put some crosswalks near those uh, park area entrances. We'll maybe even have to do some, some side paths too. So we'll get that all connected in a little bit. Let's go see what happened over at our forestry area. Level four. Awesome. 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 Making some good progress. So industry area wise, 572 workers, it is maxed out. We need 800 for the next level though. Wow, that is a lot. <sighs> so where do we build that? Let's, let's make this road come straight from here because I had curved it a little bit. It's gonna make it a little easier to make some more squarish zones off of that. We'll switch back over. I like using the gravel roads for kind of the behind the area functionality. Let's come back three and then can we hook that back at kind of a weird angle? I think that works. Back in industry areas. Let's see what we've got. So forestry wise, what have we not dropped in yet? Forestry maintenance building. 50 workplaces, a little bit of noise pollution, takes care of industrial buildings, increasing their utilization rate and reducing wastage. Each maintenance building increases storage capacity of industrial buildings by 5%. Auxiliary buildings need to be placed inside the industrial area. So that's a big boy. Will it fit on this block? That would be awesome. It won't. So let's do it right here next to the barracks. Or should we move it away from the barracks technically so that people can get some peace and quiet and some sleep? We'll do that. We've got the small tree, medium tree. We haven't unlocked large yet. And then we have small and medium saplings. We'll throw another sapling bit up there. And let's switch over to roads and we'll outline this since it fits kind of perfectly in that little grid. We'll do that. Let's do that. And we'll just fill that in a bit. We have got, what, one power line over here? Does this need to be here? 
Was that extending power there? I don't I don't think it needs to be there. So let's take a look at more of those farming industry buildings. Sawmill we've done. Biomass plant makes the paper. Engineered wood plant. So they manufacture timber. Process requires raw forest parts to operate. So it's just a bigger version basically, right? Okay, so where can we get this? This has what, a noise pollution bubble? Okay. Noise pollution we can deal with. Small log yard, sawdust storage, large log yard. We had all those already. Is this one new wood chip storage? A storage facility for storing raw forest products can be placed outside of the industry areas. And then have we unlocked a new factory yet? Printing press. I feel like we just unlocked that, right? So press full service printer. Printing press needs paper and plastic. Manufacturer printer products. Unique factories uh, can be placed outside the industrial area. So how do we make plastic? Is that going to be oil technically? Maintenance building. Pumps oil. Pumps oil, drilling, offshore. Where's the processing? Petrochemical output plastic. There we go. So yeah, we get to get going on oil. Once we expand, how close are we? Ooh, we are very close. We are very close to our next area, which can be oil if we want it to be. I think that'd be kind of cool to get that much further along the production process. Uh, it looks like I've... Overlooked our service coverage over here a bit, though. Um, got kind of a crime wave happening. So, yeah. Look at this. What is going on? So there is something up, right? It says my police cars have zero coverage. They're not... I don't, I don't understand this. I don't understand this glitch. I ran into some terrible glitches playing specifically on this map on PC with mod combos that worked on other maps um, and service vehicles not getting around the city were a problem. So I don't know if it's something specific to the map. Let's drop a police station in there. Right away they're rolling out. They should clean up all our crime icons, I hope. And you know what? Just because, let's look at fire coverage down here. Not so hot. Right? What is this? It's all little stations, so let's go across the street from the uh, the police station for that. Make everybody happy. And then let's see what we've got for power problems going on. 24,000. Excellent. So, we've got that last area, or not that last area, but the area that gets us ore and oil potentially. Uh, eco water treatment. Love it. And cargo harbor and harbor. Is that option on this map it is not right there's no shipping on this map everything else so i wonder i've never tested this can we use shipping to cargo to send cargo to another harbor to have trucks take stuff back and forth basically over the water that would be kind of cool uh electricity wise how close are we Let's turn that on. And that should get us into the green. I thought, was I, was I that mistaken? Or did we already start using that much more electricity? So that'll tide us over for a little bit. We've got two more coal plants we can turn on before we start adding in extra uh, solar updraft towers. Now we've got a garbage problem over here. So, this will be hooking in from the highway. We're going to put... Let's do this. Let's just come straight down here with this. So, six lane road all the way down to the coast. And then we'll do a little service road here, and then we'll call it quits. It's on a little bit of a hill, that's okay. 
and we need over here garbage or garbage processing I should say we don't need garbage we got plenty of garbage so let's just build two recycle plants did that stay clear of the water yeah I think it did we're good there we can always do if we wanted to a floating garbage collector Let's see if that cleans up our river at all. I think that it does. So, pollution? Does it clean up sewage? Would be interesting. Because it's looking pretty nasty down here. We do have those water treatment plants, though. I just realized that I just spent $100,000 on something I didn't need, because instead of cleaning up the garbage floating in the river, we could have just not put garbage in the river. Does, does it clean up sewage? That's the question. Lessons, water, pollution. So yeah, I mean, technically it should. And I guess I could have put it a little bit closer to the actual cause of the problem. We'll let those, we'll let those run for a bit. We'll see what they do. Last thing before we quit today. Let's water and power this. I think we'll be in pretty good shape for the next episode. So we'll do that for now until we can buy the next tile. Do we go ore and oil? Or do we do this? What's the problem with the water? up there? I keep saying one more thing. Let's call it quits there for now, though. I think it's a good spot to break. We'll figure out the water problem on the next one. We'll also decide uh, what to do from a tile perspective. I really think I want to go by the uh, the highway connection so that we can keep this uh, flowing and functioning along because I'm willing to bet that we've got some traffic problems. Yeah, our traffic's gone down quite a bit because we're forcing everything in the city down that one strip. If we could split it up every once in a while, I think that would go and help out things a lot. This main street obviously is very heavily trafficked and we need to get some of the traffic out of there. But again, I'm getting sidetracked. Forget those icons are there. Nothing is wrong. Everything is fine. If you did enjoy the video, likes, comments, and shares all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications. Join the Discord if you want to get involved in the discussion. And until the next one, this is Move the Mouse, signing off.